Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a story time of when I took a girl's trip to Jamaica, Ocho Rios, and I got fucked up on their weed muffin. So if you want to hear about it, stay tuned for after the intro. Okay, so this was back in the fall of 2013 so september towards the end of september my birthday is september 23rd one of my other friends is september 28th so we decided that we're going to go on a birthday trip and then my other friend she had never went to jamaica before you know myself and my friend that we have the birthday together we had gone there you know a couple times before my other friend she hadn't been so she's like you know let me take this opportunity and go since you guys are going you know let me just, you know, hop in. And let me tell you guys, if you're ever going on a girl's trip anywhere, especially if that's not the country where you're originally from, make sure that they're bona fide friends. Like, they're level-headed and they're good friends. Like, they'll have your best interests at heart. Like, so for instance, you know, your head's not there like mine was. So, we landed in Montego Bay and then we had a cab... I think the hotel, we were staying at um, Jamaica Grand, I think it was called. Now it's called the Moon Palace. So it was an all-inclusive trip. So they picked us up at the hotel. They had a driver pick us up at the hotel, take us to, to the, you know, the hotel. It was beautiful. It's even more beautiful now. at a price that I could never afford like they upgraded and it's ridiculous like money wise so the first couple of days we just hang around met up with some friends that you know my other friend had there because I have like family members or not fam well they're, they're fam let's just call them family members but they're on the other side of Jamaica they're in Kingston so Kingston and Ocho Rios are like you know on two separate ends of the country so we met up with her friends. We went to, there's a beach called, I keep calling it um, Journey, but I think it was Flavor. A beach called Flavor. We had a seafood roast. It was magnificent. But, cause I smoke weed, but I've never had edibles before at the time. And in Jamaica, or if you go to any parts of the Caribbean, actually any anywhere outside of like North America where the weed is naturally grown, the weed is so much more potent and so much more better than, you know, in Canada or, you know, if you're in the States where it's like grown in a lab or whatever. So I always wanted to try edibles. So we were walking through Ochi because when you come down from the hotel, you walk right down into the, the tongue area. And I felt like I was right at home. Like I, I didn't feel any way or whatever. Like I'm from the Caribbean. So I'm like, I'm from St. Vincent. So it's not like when I go to the Caribbean, it doesn't matter what island or what country or whatever. I feel like I'm at home. I don't feel any sort of way or whatever. So the only thing I didn't like is the peddlers or the merchant, the sellers or whatever. They'll try and sell you like trying to braid your hair or and, like beads, necklace and all that. And you'll tell them no, and they'll still be very persistent. And I can't be mad at that because they're trying to, you know, make a living. But it becomes annoying after a certain time. Like, you say no, and the next one will pop up. Oh, do you want sunglasses? Do you want this? Do you want... No, sir. So, <laughs> we're walking through the town, and I think... My recollection was it was a bakery, and we went in, and we were just happened to be selling edibles. But my friend, and... Her memory is probably a little bit better than mine. Said that there was a guy that was selling the, the weed muffins and he was walking down and then he didn't want to sell them on the street. So we went into a store or whatever. Like everybody knows everybody. So we just went into like one of his stores or a store that he was a friend of the owner or whatever. And that's where we did the transaction. Now, my friend, she's a weed she has a psychology a, a degree she has a degree in in weed like she's 
you know, the expert at it. Me, not so much. I just recently started smoking like a couple years before that or whatever. And like I said, I've never eaten the edibles. So she's like, don't eat. We bought two, two muffins. So there was one pack, but there was like two in it. So she's like, only eat half of it. See how your reaction is before you eat the other half or whatever. I'm like, but why? Like I bought it to like get, you know, fucked up. So why would I just, but anyways, I ate the half. It didn't do anything. She's like, just let it be, it'll kick in after a while or whatever. And originally, I didn't eat it when we were on the streets. I waited until we went back to the hotel because I didn't know what my reaction was going to be. So we went back to the hotel and we got ready for to go, like I said, it was an all-inclusive, so we got ready to go for lunch or whatever and I'd eaten the half or whatever. And I still wasn't feeling no type of way. So I'm like, I'm gonna eat the other half. My friend's like, no don't eat the other half i'm like but why would not i eat the other half like i'm not feeling anything she's like girl no do not eat the other half it will you know that's how edibles are me being the stubborn person that i am i'm like i'm, I'm gonna eat the other half you're we're in jamaica I'm, I'm eating the other half even if i anyways ate the other half went down for lunch i remember picking up you know, like the food and whatever, picking out what I want to eat. I remember sitting down and that's it. That's it. I don't remember anything else. My friends claimed that my head went down in, in my plate of food. I think they're just saying that to be more dramatic because they know that I don't remember and there's no footage of it. So based on their memories or their fabrications, I fell face forward into my food. I don't know if it happened or not, but whatever. The next thing I remember is I woke up in the back of the car because that day we had planned to go to, um, we we're going to go to Kingston, um, Port Royal. We we're planning to go to Port Royal to eat. And Port Royal has some, listen, if you've never gone, if you've gone to Jamaica before and you've never went to Port Royal on your next trip, go to Port Royal. Their food is the bomb. And as I'm talking about it right now, I want some. Like their seafood, their their fish, and ooh. But anyways, that's not what we're talking about. So, on the way to Port Royal, I remember waking up in the back of the car because I um someone had to stop to use the restroom, and I knocked out again. And from Ochi to Port Royal, I think it's about a couple hours. So I was sleeping that whole time, except for the time that I woke up. I remember getting to Port Royal. I remember walking in. I don't even know if I can walk by myself because my friends are like, after, you know, I fell forward and whatever, and they, they had to like literally drag me to the car. So I think they might have helped me in, like walking into Port Royal, or maybe it might have worn off a little bit by then. I don't know. But I don't even remember what type of food I ordered. I know it must have tasted great because. I have eaten there before, because like I said, I've gone to Jamaica before, so I've eaten at Port Royal before, so I know the food was bomb. That particular day when I went, I don't remember what I ate, but I probably got, because you know, weed makes you get the munchies. Sorry, most likely I had the munchies, probably ordered more than I should have, probably ate more than I should have, or whatever, but, and I don't even remember driving back to the hotel afterwards. Like I was, it took me like a couple of days to recover. Like no lie. Like I was, there are probably things that I'm forgetting to mention that was told to me, but my brain was like, literally I was wasted. I, I didn't expect to get this reaction. I expected to get high, but I wanted to be high with memories, you know, like smoking weed, you're supposed to, the fun is supposed to escalate, not freaking put me to sleep. Like I was knocked out not out like i this is the thing about edibles when you eat edibles it creeps up on you it creeps up on you it is when you eat it it's much more higher the it's more potent than when you're smoking it because i smoke all the time you know like i'm not a regular smoker where i smoke every day but the thing about these brownies they didn't take and they were not brownies. I keep calling them brownies. They were muffins. These muffins didn't taste anything like weed. If I didn't purchase them knowing that there was weed in them, I would have never thought that there was any weed in there because it tasted great. 
and like I said there was no hint of it didn't taste like there was any weed in it or anything like that and that's why I had no problem just you know I thought it's weak maybe this guy doesn't know how to do his thing or whatever and I'm he probably warned me about it when I purchased them but I wasn't pay paying attention to it or anything like that I actually have a picture of him and my friend so I'll post it next time I go back to Jamaica I want a rematch I want a rematch on those brownies I wonder if he's still selling them I don't know if I'll recognize him now if I were to see him again but I'll find him I will find you and I want a rematch because those 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 muffins fucked me up y'all fucked me up but I learned my lesson edibles you know take half the recommended dose don't just gobble it down or whatever the second brown the second muffin i didn't even eat it i had to throw it up because my plan was to bring it back to canada and my friend's like no when you go to the airport they'll catch you and they have sniffing dogs or whatever i'm like yeah but it doesn't even smell like weed but you know dogs their smell is like you know heightened more than humans so maybe i would have gotten caught or whatever so i had to throw it out my friend you know, I probably would have eaten it, but we didn't have that much time left. We went down on seven days. This was probably like the fourth or fifth day in. So I didn't have time to like eat it and recover or whatever. I didn't want to go to the airport acting all, you know. So I didn't eat it. I had to throw it out. My friend didn't even touch hers. She threw out her too that she ate because she's a coward. She's a coward, you know, because she saw my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> to it so she's like no nah, no nah, i'm not taking a risk i'm gonna i'm gonna like throw it out or whatever like they they had to baby me they had to take care of me like and one more thing this is like two story time in one the day that we were coming back to canada went through the airport security and everything passed through and i found that i had half a spliff in my bag I didn't know that this was there like this wasn't done to disrespect the Jamaican authorities or try to I wasn't trying to smuggle drugs or anything because why am I gonna come back with half a spliff because usually when I, I smoke I don't smoke like the whole thing I'll smoke like you know like half or take two or three poles or whatever and I guess that's what I did and I had half left and I you know wrapped it up in tissue and had it in my purse and I totally forgot that it was in there. And the thing was, when I was sitting outside in the lineup to go in, like to show my passport and everything, there was a flipping dog that came and it was sniffing. And I'm looking at the dog and I'm like, ooh, you're cute, you're, but you can't play with them or whatever. You're not allowed to like touch the whatever. But he kind of lingered around me and I'm thinking, I'm like, does he like me or something? Like, is he just being extra friendly? But I'm thinking, I'm thinking back now, I'm like, maybe he sort of sniffed it, smelt it, but then he wasn't like 100% sure, so he didn't hit on it or anything. So I got away with that. But when I got through security now and I was looking for money to buy food, that's when I found it. And I threw that shit out like so fast. Like I threw that shit out. Cause maybe the dog would have remembered and be like, you know what? You know, tell his handler, you know what? There was a girl and I didn't want to tell you, but you know, I'm acting like I'm high. No, I'm not. I haven't smoked in a while. I'm lying. I smoked a week ago. But anyways, so that was my experience with the weed brownie and learn from my, learn from my experience. Okay. And that's where it goes back where I'm saying that when you're traveling, make sure that your friends are like bonafide. Because if I had went down there with like any and anybody, and that had happened, who knows? Maybe I wouldn't be here to tell you the story right now. Or maybe I would be here crying and saying, this happened to me because I, you know, I didn't know what was going on and whatever. Like, <laughs> it was crazy. But Jamaica is beautiful. Ochi, I love Ochi. Like, if I could go live in Ochi, I totally would. Like, I went to Negril. Negril's kind of boring. That's more like for the adult scene. Like, I'm an adult like the older adult scene that i find that's the vibe that it gave me maybe if i go back now it might be different but it's more laid back and and whatever i i didn't really like it there i love kingston let me this is like three story time is in one before i ever went to jamaica i always used to hear that oh you need to be careful they'll just run upon you and rob you and take your things and whatever and the first time i went to jamaica it was in 
um, Kingston. My ex is from Havendale. So we went to Havendale and he was even telling me stuff like this. Like we'll be at the car and people just run upon you and rob you. And I'm not saying that these things don't happen, but I think he was kind of like gaslighting me a little bit, like, you know, trying to scare me or whatever. So every time we're at the, the, in the car and we stop at a red light, my, like, my heart was like, I was shooketh. I was so scared out of my, like, I was scared. I'm like, is someone going to run upon me and rob me and whatever? This was back in 2008. So I was legit scared. But I've gone there now a couple times and the people there are absolutely amazing. They make you feel at home. Like, they make you feel comfortable. Of course, there might be like areas that's sketchy and whatever, but I think it depends on the type of people that you're around. Like, people don't really bother you, you know? And I'll absolutely go back. You know, I have family there. You know, not blood or whatever, but people that I consider family. So, Jamaica's absolutely beautiful. Ochi is amazing amazing i don't know if it's because ochi is more like of a tourist town so it's kind of like written like you don't really bother with the tourists or whatever i don't know but i love it love 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 it and that hotel i i think it was called jamaica grand i said that before jamaica grand it's now the moon palace if you guys want to give me a free trip that would be great that would be great because your prices now are not in my pocket okay i'm i'm poor maybe because of covid right now the prices might have gone down i don't know but anyways that's my story with the weed muffin and i'm pretty sure my friend's gonna watch this if i've forgotten any details put it in the comment section because this video was supposed to be you know two of us but we can never our schedules never meet up or whatever because like i said her memory is way more better than mine because i don't remember half the shit when it came to that after i ate that that brownie and i'm i'm still mad that i had to throw the other one out i'm still mad <laughs> but anyways that is my story if you've ever gone to jamaica comment below let me know which parish or whatever you went to let me know if you've ever had a weed muffin i know i probably just said um brownie it's not a brownie it was just a regular muffin well regular looking muffin but yeah, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.